Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Shanka Show. Здравствуйте, товарищи. Today, as I promised, we're gonna analyze in depth the anthem of the Soviet Union. I hope you guys already recovered from my horrible singing that I did on my last live show. And for those who missed it, if you look at my live shows, the latest one at the 2 hour 14 minute mark, it's where I performed by memory the anthem of the Soviet Union. So originally I planned to include actual music and singing and then add my translation comments. But unfortunately I ran into trouble with copyright so my video won't have any music. So if you would like to listen to the anthem along with my comments you just need to click on the link below this video and then you need to pause every time there's a chapter goes through and we're gonna talk about it then you can play again next one that was the idea that I play line by line and then translate and discuss the text okay so the first line Soyuz Nerushimi Soyuz is a union in Nerushimi it's like unbreakable undestructible and it's interesting that word Nerushimi it's kind of like a propaganda style word like we don't use it in a regular conversation we don't say something like Nerushimi uh, whatever it's only used in official propaganda slogans like Nerushima Druzhba, so like unbreakable, undestructible friendship between Russian and Ukrainian people, for example. Or in this case, it's undestructible union, which means Soviet Union. So Soyuz Nerushimi. Respublik Svobodnik. So we have free republics. So we have an unbreakable union of free republics. And you know, you can talk about how the Soviet Union was created and quite a few republics really didn't want to join. Actually, for example, Ukraine, they have a government in Kiev, but Soviets organized the Ukrainian Soviet government in Kharkov and took over over Ukraine from there. So technically Ukraine wasn't like free republic. It was forced to join Soviet Union as many other republics. Splatila na veki velika Rus. So the union was joined together, Splatila na veki, by Great Russia, Velika Rus. And of course now we can be skeptical because we say na veki, which means forever, but it didn't last forever. In 1991, the Soviet show was over. Да здравствует созданный волей народов. So here we have another propaganda words. Да здравствует. And it's pretty much you can translate like glory to whatever. In this case, Soviet Union. Because we don't say in the everyday life glory to this or glory to that. So да здравствует. So that's glory to. And then созданы воли народов, created by the will of peoples. And in this case, народ means like people, like Ukrainian people, Russian people, Belarus people. So glory to the created by the will of people. Единый могучий советский союз. So единый is like a single one. It's not like, you know little pieces together it's all yedine, so it's all combined into one maguchi which is powerful sovietsky soyuz soviet union so glory to single powerful soviet union created by the will of peoples and just a little funny details when i was singing soviet anthem during my live show some people were watching Google Translate and Google translated Maguchi, which is, means powerful, into more Gucci or my Gucci. Yeah, I think it's translated my Gucci. It's like fancy brand, right? Uh, luxury brand. So it sounded like my Gucci Soviet Union. I thought it was really funny. Okay, so now we're going to Pripyav or I think it's Refrain. 
That's what we say in English, right? Uh, so that's the part that's on that being repeated. And the first line is Slavsia Atechestva Nasha Svobodnaya. Once again, Slavsia, it's kind of similar to Dazdrastvuit. So glory to the fatherland, our free fatherland. So Atechestva, fatherland, Nasha, our Svobodnaya. Once again, free. So the word free is keep on repeating over and over. Дружбы народов надежный оплот. Дружба is freedom. Народов or the people. Надежный оплот. It's like a secure foundation. Secure base. So the our fatherland is the secure base of the free, uh, friendship of the peoples. Партия Ленина Сила народная. The party of Lenin is the force of the people. So you see we have a word peoples already repeated like been used three times so far. So now it's interesting detail. Uh, we are looking at the version of 1977. So that's pretty much the latest version of the Soviet anthem. The original one was written in 1943. So the same author, same person wrote but then the later they had to change wording. So Partia Lenina Sila Narodnaya, Party of Lenin is the force of the people, or people's force, it's the version 1977. In 1943, it was different words. It was used Znamia Sovietskaya, Znamia Narodnaya. Soviet banner, the banner of people. So they, they changed that here. Uh, for some reason, they put Lenin in instead of just mentioning banners. Nas k tarzestvu komunizma vidyot. So the previous line mentioned party of Lenin and it leads us to the victory of communism. So tarzestvo, victory, and communism, of course, it's a communism. So party of Lenin the power of people leads us to the victory of communism. But once again, it's the 1977 version. In 1943 version, the wording is Pust at Pabedi k Pabedi vidyot. So here the Soviet banner let us lead from victory to another victory. At Pabedi k Pabedi, from victory to victory. Skvoz grozy siyala nam solnce svobody. So the sun of freedom, Solnce, sun, Svobody, freedom, was shining on us through the thunderstorms. Сквозь грозы. Гроза is a thunderstorm. Сквозь грозы сияло нам солнце свободы. И Ленин великий нам путь озарил. And great Lenin, like a flash, a bright flashlight, showed us the way. So Lenin великий, великий is great. Нам путь озарил. На правое дело он поднял народы. So here we're talking again about Lenin. So he raised the people for the right business here. You can translate, but probably there's a better translation. So he, правое дело, once again, as a propaganda wording, we never use it in regular life. So he raised or kind of inspired people for the right things to do. На правое дело он поднял народы. На труд и на подвиги нас вдохновил. So once again, we're talking about Lenin. He inspired us on our labor achievements and heroic achievements. Труд is labor. A подвиг is something heroic you do. Some kind of thing that you impress other people with. So, на труд и на подвиги нас вдохновил. Now, if we jump back to 1943 version, line number three was actually нас вырастил Сталин на верность народу. So, we were raised by Stalin to be good to our people or be trustworthy of our people. So, нас вырастил Сталин we were raised by Stalin. So that line was removed in 1977 and replaced that Lenin raised the people for the right business instead of Stalin 
raised us like children. You raised your children. Stalin raised us. So there's a huge change right here. That's why the Stalin disappeared from the Soviet ethos. В победе бессмертных идей коммунизма мы видим грядущее нашей страны. So here I need to kind of translate backwards. So мы видим грядущее нашей страны. We see the future of our country. В победе бессмертных идей коммунизма. So we see the future of our country in the victory of the undying ideas of communism. Бессмертная идея. So idea that never dies. So we see the future of our country in the victory of idea of communism. И красному знамени славной отчизны мы будем всегда беззаветно верны. So here kind of same situation with translation. I need to translate from the last line. Мы будем всегда беззаветно верны so we will be forever, we will be wholeheartedly faithful. Мы будем всегда беззаветно верны. So even besides wholeheartedly and faithful forever to the red banner of our motherland. Красному знамени славной отчизны. Okay, and if you watch my live show and my horrible singing, some people noticed and they commented that I did not remember right away the third verse of the Soviet anthem, and I can't explain. <laughs> well, first of all, when you use your radio, your radio tochka as alarm, as I told you, every morning at 6 a.m., the Soviet radio would start by playing Soviet anthem. So by the time it's, it's time for the third verse, you're already probably in the bathroom or you on the toilet, or already brushing your teeth, so you kind of always miss the third verse because you're already getting ready for your morning. Or, I'm not sure about this uh, idea, but I think when they used to play Soviet anthem for like uh, sports events when the team uh, won, they may cut out the third verse to make it shorter. I'm not sure about it, but for some reason, I just, uh, third verse, I always had a hard time remembering how it starts. Then after beginning, I remember the rest. So I hope you like this video, and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet